I recently received a request to do a disassembly video for the 1886 Lebel rifle itself, rather than just the bolt. And to be perfectly honest, I can't really do a complete disassembly video for the entire Lebel rifle because I don't really have the tools to do that. Because if you look and see these strange looking screw heads here that are holding the buttstock to the receiver, and also there's one here that holds part of the trigger guard to the receiver, those are called slotted spanner screws and you need a special screwdriver or a screwdriver bit head to deal with those and I don't have anything like that and I think that the reason that those are there was to prevent the typical French grunt from taking those parts of the rifle apart himself. I think that was meant to be done by a professional armorer in the French military so I'm not going to deal with that but what I can show you how to do is take apart the forend here and the tubular magazine and all that. So with that said, let's get right to it. First of all, you're going to need to take the bolt out. As uh, you might have seen in my previous bolt disassembly video, to uh, take the bolt out, you have to do a bit of partial disassembly, which isn't too difficult. You just need a good size flathead screwdriver here. And speaking of the bolt, you might notice that the bolt on my label looks a bit different than it did in the bolt disassembly video. Specifically, a couple parts of it have the bluing removed, and how I did that is I dipped them in a uh, vat of, or a dish of uh, white vinegar. But that's not the subject of the video, so I'm not going to get more into that. If you want me to talk more about that later, then I can make another video about that. Just say so in the comments, but for now, let's just stick with the subject at hand. So let's go ahead and take the bolt out, as you may have seen in the bolt disassembly video. First by opening it, and you want to unscrew the bolt retaining screw here. And then to uh, rotate the bolt head, you can either push down on the lug there or you can turn the uh, little nut here at the end of the cocking piece and you pull the bolt body out and you can take the bolt head out of the uh, transporter there and set all that aside. And then you'll want to make sure that the, uh, the transporter itself is pushed down so that the, uh, the tubular magazine follower is exposed. And then next, time to deal with the barrel bands. First you can take the front barrel band off by pushing down on the spring and just sort of wiggling it until it comes loose. Then you want to rotate it around like this so you can fit it out from over the front sight. Put that aside. Then the rear, bar rear, rear barrel band, bleh, do the same thing, just push down on the spring and wiggle it forward to get it off. This one can be a little more tricky than the front sight because it's not being held in place by just a little pin like the uh, front one. You've got to push it over the whole spring. Once again, you can just slide this one off, and this one you can just sort of take right out from over the front sight because it's quite a bit larger. And here's where you need to be a bit careful. You want to push down on the, uh, the magazine follower, the two-wheeler magazine follower here in order to get the fore end off. So have your finger down in there. Then you can just sort of lift it right off of the rifle. Set the rest of the rifle aside for now. And now here you can see the, uh, the follower and this uh, metal piece here. I'm not entirely sure what the terminology for this is. But this sort of uh, tubular metal piece that initializes the, uh, the tubular magazine. And to get that out, you just have to take this uh, this pin out, and I've got a pin punch right here. So sort of carefully push that out with a pin punch. Set the pin aside, and this uh, metal piece pops right out along with the magazine follower and the magazine spring. Now this is not the original magazine spring that came with the rifle. When I was doing some experimentation with trying to load the magazine, I, like an idiot, 
broke the uh, original magazine spring into two pieces. It's, it's still intact except for that small breakage, but I did break it, so I had to order a uh, another one online. This is actually from um, Brownells, I believe. This is actually for some sort of Winchester lever action rifle or something like that. I can put a link to the specific part number on Brownell's website in the description, so look for that there. But yeah, this works just fine for the LaBelle rifle as far as I can tell, so just don't be an idiot like me and don't try and load rounds in the improper way. In another video I guess I can explain how to load um, magazine or load rounds into the tubular magazine properly. Maybe whenever I finally get around to shooting this rifle. But for now, um, just, yeah, it's probably best not to uh, try and load rounds into the magazine unless you know what you're doing or you know what the proper way to do it is, otherwise you might break the spring. But yeah, in order to take the follower off of the spring, you just sort of turn it until it comes off. You can see down in there, there's like a little uh, metal bar that holds the end of the spring there in place. And set all that aside. And the uh, the tubular magazine is basically, for the most part, just a channel that's cut inside the, uh, the foreend. So there's nothing else to take out in there as far as I know. And if you want to, you could also use a smaller pin punch and take out the uh, the barrel band, or the, yeah, the barrel band springs. Just got these uh, two holes in here into which you can stick a pin. Yeah, that's not suggestive at all. And uh, there's this thing here. I'm not entirely sure what this wooden dowel here is for. I guess you could take that out too if you want, but there's really no reason to. But yeah, at this stage you can basically just go ahead and do whatever cleaning you want to do. And uh, reassembly, as you'll see in a second here, is more or less just the same as disassembly, just in reverse. Now to begin reassembly, just take the follower and the magazine spring, the spring to the follower, and twist it until it grabs onto the metal bar inside the follower. Take the spring and fit it into the channel in the end that basically is the tubular magazine itself. And the follower just came off, so I'm just going to have to put it back on here. And you can fit this metal piece here in the follower. And slide it in so this uh, more rectangular metal piece fits into the channel in the end. Take your pin, push the pin in there, so the metal piece stays in place. Hopefully the follower won't come shooting out. Take the rest of your rifle, and you want to uh, hook this metal lug here into a uh, recess, the bottom of the receiver, and you also want to make sure you're pushing down on the follower so that you can actually fit the thing in there in the first place sort of uh, lever it into place. Make sure the follower is working properly. Then you can put your barrel bands back on. Starting with the rear barrel band. Slide that over the spring. Wiggle it until it pops into place. Do the same thing with the front barrel band except uh, with this you need to make sure that it's upside down so you can fit it over the front sight and rotate it around. Push down on the rear barrel band or the front barrel band spring so you can fit it over the little pin on the spring there. And it will just pop into place like that. And then you can put the bolt back in. Slide the bolt body in. And the bolt head. Rotate the bolt head. Get the bolt retaining screw. And just screw that back in place. And 
voila. That's it. Hope you got some use out of this video if you have a LaBelle rifle as well, or if you just wanted to see more of what a LaBelle rifle looks like and how it operates. And with all that said, I'll see you next time. Fucking kidding me.